Hey, welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. Today, I want to show you how to use this, to how to make this toilet roll cover. This is a double wide. The information for this is actually on my website, as you can see. It's actually just uh, on the written patterns right on the top here. You just want to scroll down until you see crochet accessories with fun. What do we have here? Crochet afghans. We have baby crochet decorating with crochet. There we are, the vibrant toilet roll cover. It's a free pattern. Uh, you don't need any membership in order to access this. So you can either follow it here or you can follow it on this video. It doesn't matter to me. I'm using a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, which is a size H. These are the best hooks ever. These are Tulip. And I'm using one ball only of Bernat Mosaic Vivid. And that's giving the beautiful color uh, coordination that you can see in the photograph. So let's get started. You are also going to need a stitch marker in order to count your rounds as you go around and around. So let's get started. To get started, we're just going to create a slip knot, and we're starting off in the center on the top, going all the way around. So let's uh, begin, and we're going to just chain three to start one, two, and three. And I want you to come into the very starting chain, and I want you to half double crochet, so wrapping it through, pull through, and then pull through all three that you see on there. And I want you to do that 12 times, going all the way into that one spot. So that was one. So this will be two, three, four, five, six, six, and this will be seven, eight. nine, ten, eleven. I want to give you some advice and I'm just counting. And twelve. And I want you now to slip stitch. So we're just going to come into the top of the starting there. Pull through, through. And I want you to put in your stitch marker at that point so we know it's not always obvious uh, where these uh, begin and stop. So we just want to put a stitch marker in there and move to the next level. I'm going to row two on here on step two. We just want to chain two up. And I want you to go right into here. Okay, so not right directly underneath. And I want you to half double crochet into every stitch all the way around twice. So we're just going to do one and two. And this is going to expand the circle into um, doubling itself. So one and two. And I'll do it one more time to show you. And then I'm going to let you do the rest. And we'll meet back up at the stitch marker. One and two. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can always use a, um, a paper clip or what other things that you can find. So continue to do that. We're going to meet back up at the stitch marker. So we're now back at the stitch marker. That's the next one. So let's take that out. And we're going to put in two in there. One and two, and we're just going to put it back so we know uh, know exactly where it is. And once it's back in, I want you to slip stitch. So just coming to the starting chain when we chained up two, pull through and through just like that. So let's uh, move on. We're going to move up to the next level there, and this is step number three. So one and two, and we're going to half double crochet in first. Okay, so we're coming in over here not directly underneath. Okay, so over there for a half double crochet for one. Okay, and then the next one is going to get two half double crochets. So one and two. So here's the repeat pattern. So the next one is going to get one. The next one is going to get two of them. So do that all the way through. So one and two. Okay, so let's do that one more time. So the next one's going to get one and the next one is going to get two. So do that, we'll continue to do that all the way to the stitch marker and we'll meet back up and get you on to step number four. So we're coming all the way back to the stitch marker and it should work out that the stitch marker is the final one that gets two. Should work out that way. If it doesn't, you know, don't sweat the small stuff. You can probably just fake it and just carry on. You know, this stuff is going to be stretching. And once we get that in, we just want to put in our stitch. We just want to slip stitch it like we did before. Let's put our stitch marker back in so we know exactly where we are. Okay, and now let's move up. Okay. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to chain up two. Okay, so we're just going to stretch over. So just go over. So we're going to half double crochet the first one, half double crochet the second. 
Okay, and now the third one is going to be where you're going to put two. So basically the first two are going to be one each and the third one is going to be for two. So how you remember that to look at it here. So you look at the stitches, you see this is together. These are, see that's by itself, these are two together. The final one here is always going to get the double. Okay, so one and two. So see this is the second part of it, that is going to get the two. So that's an easy way to remember that instead of having to count your stitches if you don't want to. Okay, so the one and then one and then look at it. This is your third one over, so it's going to get two. So do that all the way around, same configuration. We'll meet back up with the stitch marker and carry on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just chain up two and begin the same process. Okay, so we want to put our stitch marker back in so we know exactly where it is. It might be very obvious, you don't, maybe you not need one, but uh, you will need it for the next part. And now I want you to do three single crochet, or three half double crochets in a row. Okay, so let's stretch over. Okay, and so one, two, and three. And now the fourth one is gonna get two. Okay, and this is the, gonna be the final time that you grow this bad boy. Okay, so let's do this again. So it's just like before. So one, two, three, and the next one will get two. So this is your fourth one. We'll get that. So do that all the way around, and we are going to uh, then carry on to work our way down the particular toilet whirl. So we now come all the way back, and we're just going to slip stitch it again, pulling everything together. And it's really important that you put in your stitch marker again, just like that. So now what I'm telling you to do from now on for this next round until we get to the back, we want to go into the back loop only. And some people think the back loop is kind of a silly stitch, but it's really not. So it's a one and two. And the reason why we're doing the back loop only is that I want you to create a bend in the material so that it automatically just kind of wants to fall. So if you don't do that, it's kind of more of a gradual and it, and it will make this top area kind of like bulge out. So we're just going to come into the back loop only. So wrap the back loop only and half double crochet. So again, so in crochet there's two loops. You just want to go skip the first one and just go right to the back one only for half double crochet. And you want to do that all the way around in this round. And we'll meet back up at the stitch marker. We're now coming all the way back around and I want you to leave that stitch marker right where it is because now we have to do 10 rounds of just going. So we're coming all the way back so we're going to grab that next one here and we're just going to immediately just half double crochet into the next one over. Okay so we normally would have slip stitched but we're just going to do uh, half double crochet ourselves and what this is going to do it's going to make us um, just continually go in a circle so when you come back to here you're not going to slip stitch anymore you're just going to continue to rotate around this particular thing about 10 times you can grab a toilet roll and actually start measuring it if you want to at certain points to make sure the depth is just fine for whatever you are I'm not sure if toilet roll uh, paper actually varies by country so you can always check that and just continue to circle around here 10 times and we're going to meet back up where we're going to do the flare at the bottom so we're back again and I've done 10 rows off camera and you can really look at it here. You can count up if you wish. You can also just grab your toilet roll uh, thing and actually just measure as well if you're uh, feeling a little bit skeptical about that as well. So what we want to do is that we want to um, create a slip stitch here. And so we're just going to come into the very next one here. Okay, so we've been going around and around. Just create a slip stitch just like so. And now we're going to chain up three, one, two and three. So this is an interesting thing that I did with this pattern is that the next one is going to get one double crochet. So we're actually going to double crochet now. And you can see that it flares out. Okay. And how we did that is that um, if you remember when we were up here is that we chained or we half double crocheted four in a row and then we did a double. So now what we're going to do is do five double crochets in a row and the next one will be a double. So this is four, okay, and the next one is going to be a double. And so what that's doing is it's actually continuing the same circle revolution all the way around so it appears even. Okay, so it's not going to flare up or ruffle because we're just maintaining it. Okay, so we're going to do five double crochets in a row, and then the sixth one is going to get two 
double crochets into the same one and you're going to do that all the way around so why don't you do that and we'll meet back up and we're going to finish off this project and then you can just uh, display it on your uh, your uh, toilet i was going to say the can but how inappropriate is that and finally we're all the way back around and we're just going to slip stitch it to the top of the chain that we started with chaining of three and then pull it together let's grab our fancy dancy scissors trim and i'm just going to tie it just pull it through just like that and just weave in your ends as normal so now you have your full toilet paper cover and uh you know it's actually a pretty cool idea it's uh you can use uh, substitute many different yarns with this it doesn't really matter too much um yeah, it's a pretty good project. Um, I didn't say this at the beginning of the tutorial. I might put a note on it, but I actually used a smaller hook than what this yarn was asking for. Um, I don't want to see my toilet roll through this thing, so I just wanted to do it so that it was a nice tight stitch, and I did that by reducing the stitch in comparison to the amount of yarn. So now it's just up to you now to put this on your toilet roll and enjoy it. Until next time, I'm Mikey from The Crochet Crowd.